week has been absolutely insane. This is by far the best riding camp I've ever done. We made a lot of magic this week. I heard a lot of cool ideas. I think the energy here is a, is a great start to leaning onto some like historical stuff. If we all come together, we can all create something great. There's no egos involved. Everybody here was working at their own pace. This is a life-changing week for me. These are gonna be lifetime memories that I'll be able to tell my kids and my grandkids about. This is what Miami, this has been a crazy experience. When I first started producing music, I had nobody, you know? It was just me, some Asian kid from uh, a random town in New Jersey in his mom's basement, just making beats, right? And I had no idea where to go, what to do. And, you know, I remember my first experience having a studio session with other people at like a, a natural studio. It was intimidating, but extremely exciting at the same time. And so I am very, very much passionate about creating that type of environment for other people. For a long time, camps have sort of become this like super corporate, like narrow shifted experience where usually it's, you know, an artist that we're trying to produce for or a particular type of sound we're trying to create. And as a creative person, dude, like, I personally don't enjoy creating with boundaries. Um, not to say that there's a right or wrong, but I think there's something interesting when you put a bunch of people together with no boundaries, no real agenda. Really, the only agenda is make music. The outcome is always trying to create as much great art as possible, music that's a bit outside of the norm, you know, anti-pop, kind of is my personal favorite, creating something that's not out yet. From a social standpoint, I think other producers meeting, putting guys who ha have never worked together in rooms, that's really my goal. That way, hoping to create something really special. You would take a songwriter that's used to one style, and they would be put in a room with a producer that they probably never would have met in a million years. And they get together and they create something brand new, right? And and that's where the magic is of this camp. I feel like we need to give it space. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I like where it sits though, it's just where everything else. If we're gonna do that the way we're sitting it, then we gotta move everything where yours is sitting. I like where yours is sitting with the base. Okay. Whenever she's wearing her shades inside, you know it's about to be a problem. <laughs> I feel really blessed, like, to even be here, to be working with this many people. There's so many talented human beings in this world, and they're coming through this door. It's been really cool to meet everybody. There's people coming from Amsterdam, I think Scotland, people coming from Toronto, just everywhere. Man, Miami is literally the perfect place to do this. You really don't have to drag people to try to come, right? It's always been a destination. The weather's amazing. I think this tropical beauty out here in Miami really brings out the best in everyone. As soon as you walk into the backyard, it's this half an acre space with a pool and palm trees. It's almost like half vacation, half work. It just gives you that feeling of Ah, oh, like I, I can relax. I don't have to be under so much pressure. We really made it like a home. Like we weren't pretentious about the gear we were buying either. I didn't want to invest like two million dollars to like make this out into some spaceship. You know what I mean? We're kind of running it 
homey. I love the home studio vibes, but I don't like the studio. It feels like you clocking in the work. It's like, it feels like a home. It doesn't feel like a studio. It's, it's like a cool combination of both. And I think that kind of makes everybody feel like family. It's all really all love. <laughs> I'm just like so happy to be here right now. Yeah, yeah. Like y'all are crazy and I'm glad that we can work together. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing to like just work with people. I don't know, I felt like this camp made everything just like easy. It like brought everybody together. I don't know if that's corny, but I love this camp. This shit is definitely like a hub for just reading creativity. I think it's a cool thing. There's like three or four different rooms. So you get to hop in and see what they're doing and what the other people are doing. It's on his just all in one place where you could just go to the next room and just be like, yo, what's up? Everybody pulled up, Boy Wonder, Doc McKinney, and Angelo. Just a lot of goats in one place. Everybody's been really down to earth, really humble. I feel like the, the family feeling on this one is super dope. And like being able to just work with such inspiring and like, you know, people that you look up to one on one. I mean, you can't get an opportunity like that anywhere else. Tim just called. Timberland said, we're going to pull up. We want to really pull up. Like, I see what you got going online right now. It's looking like it's great. Tim was like, I'm going to come tomorrow. And I'm coming Wednesday. And as this last minute schedule changed, we already had like everything kind of blocked out, but now we have to shift and figure out for Tim because that's the whole purpose of the camp. It's for collaboration, it's for great moments, but <laughs> it's some madness at the same time. <sighs> Resort Miami, man. Last minute changes, here we go. Thanks for coming, brother. This camp, as far as the curation of it, was just the talent level is just super high. And just being invited in general is like pretty special. Cause you know, there's only X amount of people invited. So I know whoever's in these rooms are gonna be super dope. If you're here, you got it. A month ago, I had no idea I was gonna be out here. I just made a fucking shot in the dark. And I just said, yo, get me out there to the camp. And uh, I didn't know it at the time, but Don was on the other end of the screen and he replied like, what's up little homie, you want to take the wheelchair or the bus? <laughs> I need to hear two bars of a loop to know whether someone is serious about it or not. He had that special thing and I was like, yeah, you belong here, just come out. And then I got a text the next day at like 6 a.m. just with my name on the poster for resort. I trusted him, yeah, and, and it turned out, of course, that he was there. The real mission here is to unite everyone to try and create dope music. I really care about music. Like, stardom means nothing to me. It's fucking incredible, man. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than this. I'm living my best life right now. We got to make music. Now more than ever, there's, there's so much opportunity out here for creative people. And so we just want to be a part of that and uh, contribute to that as much as we can. After these five days, there were a lot of relationships that were that were built, a lot of new relationships, a lot of people clicked up, a lot of phone numbers exchanged, and that you know that makes me extremely happy. And we're gonna keep doing these camps, so look out uh, for the call. Just so you know, in case you forgot, in case you didn't get a moment because you're too busy on doing what you do, you gotta congratulate yourself, pat yourself on the back. Your 10 year old, 15 year old self, they'll be so proud of you right now. We all make music, we all do business, we all become creative, we all doing something that we didn't know we can do it then, but we're doing it now. Y'all should be proud of y'all, I'm proud of y'all, I'm proud of me. Your parents, your loved ones, the ones after you. Like, good job, y'all. Let's continue it. More. Get back to the music, you know what I mean? <laughs>